And that should turn off the tabernacle. Yep. So then we get to go to our turn, and then we PO, and then we can prowess and kill our opponent. That's so cool. Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a Friday morning stream. Um, this whole holiday week, Magic Online has been hosting uh, super regional championship qualifiers. So a regional championship is a large event in all multiple regions that is somewhere between a Grand Prix and a PT. Um, it is going to qualify a large number of players to the pro tour which is going to be happening again pretty soon um so online the the ptqs don't exist anymore which is a shame because those were my my path to the pro tour and i thought pretty deserving prize of winning a large magic online tournament um but now they have these super rcqs so that's what we're going to play today um tons of you know top end prizes and uh, a large uh tournament I think it's over 160 players last time I looked. Might be even more now. Um, for the most part, when I play these tournaments, I either play PO or I find a compelling reason not to play PO. Uh, and today, I actually think that PO is extremely well positioned. Um, I talked about it on my Patreon a little bit yesterday, but the, the metagame is heavily uh, mono-white initiative right now. However, Mono White Initiative is no longer putting up uh, uh, winning numbers. Uh, it's actually below 50% win rate again. Uh, and, and the reason is because the, the answers in Vintage do seem to be pretty readily available. Uh, I think there are three main ways you can beat Mono White. And one would be casting Source to Flash Years. Two would be triggering Venge Vines. And three would be uh, comboing faster than your opponent can play cards. <laughs> so that'd be something like um, jewel, jewel Shops, P PO, Doomsday, Oops All Spells, those, those kind of things. Um, the nice part about Esper PO is that you can play both uh, Source to Plowshares and combo faster than your opponent, um, which makes it my choice for today's event. I'm going to play this very classic 2019 style Esper PO deck with uh, main deck uh, creature hate. So we're going to play Swords to Plot Shears and Balance and Sphinx all in our main. Uh, and then we'll play additional swords in the board. Basically, I took the Lavinias and I put them in the side. I don't even think the Lavinias are bad in the main, but I just decided that I wanted to play uh, creature-based removal instead of Lavinias in the main today. So without further ado, let's jump into our event and see how we can do. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Okay, here we are. Round one, Vintage Super RCQ. We have 208 players, which is actually only eight rounds of Swiss. Um, I'm pretty happy to see that. Let's uh, jump into round one. I have... Not a very good hand, kind of a disjointed hand. Um, I don't really like this. I don't really see a strong. I mean, we have options, right? We we can we can go uh, vampiric lotus top activate top dry ancestral, but we don't even have force backup for that. And then you have a bunch of just really miserable cards in your hand. I would rather just go to six and try to find something better. And this is much better, so. Welcome. I'm just going to get rid of the swords and, and focus on our combo game plan here. All right. Um, don't think there is much reason to sequence in any way other than least important to most important artifacts into Narset. And um, we actually are in a position where if our Narset hits a Moxon, we can cast P.O. Let's 
our nar our, uh, Narset hit a mana vault, and I'm just going to do that. I think it's better than time walking. It might be worse than time walking, to be honest, but I'm just going to pick up Narset. Wow. Um, the Academy is a pretty good draw. So I held my, my land drop, so I get to use Academy, which is going to be really important here because we want to make sure we can cast everything. It'll play out the Academy, so I have Force of Will. Well, hmm. I just want to hit another PO off of Narset. We did. Hmm. We did bottom a PO. So if I play this Mana Crypt, I lose out on a blue. I'm going to try to think of the possibility that we pass the turn here and I don't want to play my Mana Crypt. I'm just going to play my Mana Crypt. I'm wondering if I would have rather time walked and then activated again. I don't think so, but it's possible. I definitely am going to recast Narset. I'm definitely happy I picked up Narset too. All right, well. <laughs> All right. I'm a little worried that I, I just maybe went too fast and was supposed to time walk. But I couldn't really pass up four PO for four. I think I'm just going to force this. If I just let things happen, I can have double force up with my academy. Hmm. Is normally like a, a tinker gamer sometimes. I don't know. If they go like Cavern Archon, I'll be pretty extremely upset. I'm just gonna force this. In the blind, I've been forcing Lotuses a lot recently. Oh, Sapphire. Saga Gaming, okay. So it's not too bad to force Lotus from Saga Gaming. Is this a time walk? Oh, it's a chalice on one. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know what that means. Maybe that means shops. <laughs> Immediately draw a Sensei's top. I have a Teferi in my deck. Okay, so... This Yogwill is Black Lotus PO, so. Okay. Black Lotus. I am going to pick up my one drop artifacts. I think the card is worth more. And that should just be game. Well, it's a lot of one drops. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm relying on uh, Narset again. <laughs> this has been quite the adventure. All right, well, I hit another PO, <laughs> but I can't get all these one drops into play. But I get to replay my NAR set, so it's probably going to be good enough. Uh, let's actually float a black banner off of this. Okay, my opponent is off it. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five. This is gonna brick again. 
How many cards into my deck am I? <laughs> I've never seen PO brick that hard. Oh my god. Okay, so if my opponent has a chalice and a saga, they have to be on shops, right? I'm gonna bring in Karn, an opposition agent, and a Hercules recall. I guess they theoretically could be on mono white, but I usually like to keep both uh, of these in the deck. I have a Mentor, Time Walk, and a Citadel, Yagwil are my win conditions for my combo, but the combo doesn't really matter when you draw your whole deck, basically. Typically, anyways. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'm going to exactly do this. Let's see. Let's do Step, Probe, Snapcaster, Narset. That looks fine. I don't think I want to like go too super heavy on swords unless I know my opponent is on aggro shops. And then I will play Lavidia on the play. Yeah, the Chalice on one was much better than I thought it would be. Chalice on one is like good against my deck for sure, but like it feels like I don't need that. I don't need one drops to win, but. I'm going to keep this hand. No force, but Lotus Demonic is pretty hard to pass up. Okay, well, we have successfully determined what our opponent was doing. Uh, of course, I am going to play out my Moxin just so they don't get caught underneath a sphere. Oh, I, don't, um, I have basic, so actually I will fetch and get my uh, top down. Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward, um, right now anyways, uh, PO versus Shops game, where I go uh, hold my lands, bounce the Null Rod, and then Tinker kill my opponent. Okay, so my opponent is just currently dead on board, unless they have uh, exactly Mind Break Trap. Will I play around Mind Break Trap? Oh, actually, they're not dead on board. I'm one mana short of going Demonic Tinker. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go Tundra Pass, and I'll look for End of Turn Hercules, and then I'll go Demonic um, Tinker. If they sword, uh, if they Wasteland me, I think it's okay. I definitely would rather have had a Fetch Land than both of my non-basics, but... Okay, here is Wasteland. Um, They're going to hold Wasteland? What does that mean? Why would you hold Wasteland? Oh, I, don't, I don't know what that means, but... I have no idea why you would hold Wasteland. But it's going to bite them pretty badly here. Because I can't even mind break trap. I should have spun. I don't know why I didn't spin. F6 too early. Oh, I have Force Backup now too. All right, well, this game is over. I don't know why my opponent did that. And this is kind of why you leave in uh, Citadel in the matchup. It's because a lot of the games, the play pattern is end of turn, you Hercules your opponent, and you untap, and you need to kill them in one turn. I got to get this away from this. All right. Yeah, I, 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 you can't hold Wasteland there. No shot. I'll take it, though. All right, here we are. Round two, Vintage Super PTQ. We're up against Zol, Zol, Zol. Um, I'm just going to use a hand hider just in case. Uh, I'm not saying that my opponent is or was or ever did cheat. I am just going to use one. <laughs> uh, let's battle. Yeah, I don't have a, a thing set up for the YouTube recording, so unfortunately it will be on the YouTube recording as well. But Oh, sweet. We can get rid of the hand hider. <laughs> we 
Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm just going to probably play this game out without it. Interesting draw. Get pro removes hand hiders broken. <laughs> nice. Kind of need this to resolve, actually, <laughs> especially if I get wastelanded. We keep drawing non fetches, which has been really bad for us. Uh, it's really rough here because if my opponent does force this and they have, like, it's really hard for me to play force into this because they could just have Flusterstorm back up. What'd they pitch? They pitched Oko. I mean,. <laughs> it's really it's really rough especially if i get I'm just going to go in for it i'm actually thinking i'm just going to balance right now and this is discard 3 cards same amount of lands. Yeah, I'm going to balance right here. Because I forced, I have only one card left. Ah. These. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this emerald... I think it's better than the other choices because I, I'm looking to try to PO here. All right, we'll see if we get Wastelanded. Uh, I, I should probably have not played the Emerald uh, first main phase. Probably should have gone second main phase. All right. Oh, nice. I'm going to do Teferi first. I'm going to just plus my Teferi, uh, and the reason is because if my opponent wastelands me next turn, um, I can just uh, bounce my Opal. They could, I can also bounce a Collector Roof, so uh, I think it should put me in a good spot, and then my day, I can't get hit by like a random Fluster. This could be a Collector Roof. Teferi was a nice hit. If I didn't hit Teferi, then I just have to PO and hope they don't have Fluster. This is a Besaju? What is this? Oh. Interesting. Well, I didn't really expect that. I must, they must just be on Bug. All right, well, I mean, if they have a force at the end of this, it actually looks pretty good for them, right? Maybe not. <laughs> brazen Bar, Brazen Bar, Tarmogoy. Yeah. So I can actually snap Tinker for a top. I don't know if that's actually better than... Hmm. I can just hit PO too. Hmm. 
So bug, huh? Interesting. <sighs> hmm. What do I want to do with bug? Bunch of swords. Bunch of swords come in. I, do, I will take Citadel out in this matchup. I usually like to take an Opal and a Top out in this matchup. I usually like to take a Hercules out in this matchup. It's like a lot of cards I like taking out. I wonder if this is an Opposition Agent matchup. Might be. I think I like this. I'm going to keep my hand. I just don't like bringing in Needle against the Oko Assassin's Trophy deck. I don't know if Agent is actually good, but. Do Fright Shaman. All right. Show me your secrets, opponent. Collector Roof, Wasteland, Wasteland, Underground. Say, all right. Well, goodbye. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, my opponent's dead. I don't know if that's a keep exactly. Yeah, and this is why we play PO. They're super dead. I mean, I just don't think you keep a hand that doesn't have some kind of interaction on turn one. My hand had forced backup, so like my hand was pretty broken, but yeah. PO does PO things. Okay, welcome to round three. We're up against uh, Oath Master Maharu Fuyamiya who likes to play Mind Break Traps and Pyroblasts in their main. Uh, this hand is Garbo Mulligan. This hand is so bad. <laughs> this hand is begging for a singular Moxon. This is sad day. This hand I would keep. One Moxon, turn one Demonic, uh, just get a Force back up and then go for Tinker on turn two. Very unfortunate. But without a Moxon, it just hand just doesn't function either. So Yeah, this is our best hand. Main deck Hercules is just so good. So it just answers all the randomness in the format. Like opponent puts a bolus of Citadel in play, Hercules it. I need to generate storm and mana, Hercules me. 
Um, God, do I... I guess I'm going to get risky here and get rid of a land. My opponent mulligan to five cards as well. Yeah, I have no problem with main decking Hercules. I also think that aggro shops would have been a really good deck choice today because it is, a, I think, a pretty good answer to mono white. Um, so I kind of expected more players than normal to be on shops. Like, I think car shops is a really good metagame choice because I think car shops should beat mono white and car shops should beat doomsday. Uh, so I think, like, and car shops should beat squee. So, N not ravager. But, like, yes, an aggro shops. I kind of like Fleet Wheel Cruiser and, like, Metamorphs right now. I don't know if you can play all of those, but. But I think Patrick Automaton is quite good. Well, I mean, decks in Vintage typically get metagame shifts. And this is a really strong metagame shift for aggro shops, in my opinion. All right, we Othen. Hit the land drop. Um, so I am worried about Wasteland, but I think I just need to take Underground Sea Tundra. I'm definitely going to flicker my Sapphire because my opponent's like very likely to have a Pyro. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get Veiled, aren't I? I think I just take this L. They're on pretty low number of Flusters now because they have four Pyroblasts in their main, but... Still not something I can risk doing, probably. I kind of want to be able to beat a Planeswalker here as well. So that's why I waited. Uh, that is a Planeswalker I'm willing to beat. All right, one card for my opponent, zero cards for me. Same Moxon land setup. I'm top decking first. Any Tinkers? Any Tinkers? Top's not bad. Interesting. Pretty good. I don't know if we have the opportunity to wait for this many turns, but... See what happens. I think I'd like to wait if possible. Especially against, like... Cluster and yeah, I'm just gonna play this and pass. Obviously, this threatens my life total a little bit, but I think my opponent probably has some, at least some piece of one mana counter magic. I should go look at the latest Maharu list. Oko, huh? Four Oko, one Narset, two Archon of Cruelty, nice. Uh, Mind Break Trap, four Pyroblast, three, four Pyroblast, three Flusterstorm, one Negation, one Trap, one Will. <laughs> what is this nonsense? I actually think this is probably a pretty good deck choice for today, too, because you are likely to beat aggro with your Oath plan, and you're likely to beat combo with, like, this is so much counter magic. Alright, they, they tapped out of Pyroblast Flusterstorm, though, so I'm looking for a PO for 4 to win. Okay. Actually... 
in this case, I might draw with top and PO for two. What does that get me? No. No, I don't think I like doing that. Why does my library keep going over here? Can we not do that? I don't know, because like to end of turn PO, I have to draw into PO, and then I'm drawing two off my PO. And I have to replay top. You can also go for dress down. That might be better. Dress down one, then I play top and PO. Maybe that's actually the best. Hmm. Kind of an interesting idea. One, two, three, four. I still have enough. I do lose a blue, but I have a sapphire, so I think it's fine. And it's going to give me an additional draw. Yeah, I think this plan, this plan probably works fine. I'm going to just go all in with an activation. They have to have exactly force. They don't. They can have mind break trap after all of this. Wow, that's a good draw. Uh, Mox in there was very important. I'm going to get Lesmi PO again. They do have an active uh, oak. They did have Mind Break Trap. I kind of think, kind of figured they did. Uh, they do have Oko Steel, which is a little interesting. Yog will. Does Yog will win? One, two, three. I'm actually short. I have Mystical Time Walk though, so that should just be what we're gonna do here. Do I have Mystical Time Walk? Uh, Mentor. I have five mana, so no, because I need four mana just to do Mystical Time Walk. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Mystical time work mentor is too much mana. Uh, I don't think we need to do Tinker. We can just do Yagwil with two POs. I think I'd rather just time walk. Could be wrong, but that's my gut instinct. I guess I'll hold this sapphire for my mentor. So I have Mentor. Oh, do I ha not have enough to do Mentor first? Mentor. Oh, no, I have a, I have a Fetch land, right? So I have Mentor, Yogwill. No, I'm short. Huh. So I can't do Mentor first. Mentor. I have enough to Time Walk, but I don't have enough to PO, right? Mentor, Yogwill, one, two, three mana. So I can't, I can't PO. So I guess I'll just Yogwill and PO. I, I, I'm trying to PO here. Because I have a uh, self-sufficient Moxin. I don't think I want to use my top though. Because this just draws like 10 cards or something.
Yeah, I don't have to. Yeah, this is just winning. This is deterministically winning from here. Don't play my land drop because I'd like to hit Tolarian Academy. I guess I have Mystical Tutor as well. I can I can basically do anything I want. This might get a concession, so I'm going to play the Mentor out. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Just uh, PO them out of the game. What is happening? Why, why are you over here now? Drawing PO, uh, drawing force off my first PO was really important to hit to beat Mind Break Trap. They had Fluster. Wow, they had Fluster Mind Break Trap, but they topped. They tapped out for Oko. Incredible. She me hard has so many counter spells. Are you making something? Okay. Do you need food? You have food? Do you want to throw my um pasta into the oven? Oh, not the oven, the microwave. Thank you. So I'm just gonna cast time walk here and then kill my opponent. Uh, I'm just casting enough things that it's enough. I mean, it's, it's, it's more than enough. I don't know why I'm doing it. Let's just, let's just get out of here. Time walk. All right. Magic Online is not happy with me for making so many triggers, but got to do what you got to do. All right. Now I can just F6 and attack. I don't have to worry about anything. Please, Magic Online, stack my triggers. All right, so that was a good win. Picking up any wins versus Maharu is really, really important because uh, they come few and far between when your opponent is playing four Pyroblast, three Flusterstorm, one Negation, one Trap for Force of Will. They're also going to be boarding in another Mind Break Trap and Force of Vigors and Claims. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare, this matchup. I think Oath's a great metagame call right now. I don't really know how I'm going to beat Oath, to be honest. I'm definitely going to take out Swords and Balance. I definitely want to take out Hercule. I don't know. I don't really want to play Lavinia. I guess I can just play Needle. I do think I want Sphinx and Citadel, even though they play a bunch of Besages. Uh, I don't think we want to keep balance. No, I, I think Sphinx is fine. Just having another option is fine. Well, maybe we could keep a balance hand. I really hate Needle, so maybe we'll keep balance. I, I don't want to bring in like a bunch of random creatures that don't do anything. Like Lavinia does something, but I, I just don't want to have creatures in my deck. Um, because my opponent, you know, has to use Orchard or Oko. Like, I don't really want Mystical Tutor in my deck, but 
Like the cards I have are just not good in this matchup, unfortunately. I don't think they're I don't think they're what I want. Like maybe I'll bring in Lavinia on the play in game three. I feel like that's possible. But I brought in basically I brought in a colorless planeswalker because it doesn't get hit by Pyro Fluster. And I brought in an extra fluster to help protect my spells. But I basically all this matchup is entirely about finding a window. And just jamming. Like that, that last game, my opponent had Fluster, Mind Break Trap in their hand, but I found a window where I could just win. Uh, man, this hand is bad. If this hand had a Moxin, I'd be much more interested in keeping it. You can't really afford to mulligan very much in this matchup, but... I'm going to mulligan this one at least. Yeah. Dress down is like pretty garbage in this matchup too. <laughs> what am I going to do? Just lose the vigor probably. Do I play... I think I play... Man... I don't know. Uh, I haven't, like, been super happy with Urkel. I think it's fine. Uh, I was more happy when I, like, did a lot of, uh, you know, work to make the deck better to use Urkel. She's definitely playable in this deck. I'm trying to figure out what's the way that I get blown out the least. <laughs> uh, I think the answer is Soul Ring and Top and not Opal. I think Urza's garbage. I like Herkel a lot better than Urza. Balance is actually really interesting here as uh, the Mind Twist effect. Um, Might try it. Try to get some counters out of their hand. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Is that a wasteland? Hmm. All right, so I'm going to go Delta Opal Balance. It's for a four card discard spell. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I guess they can just Vigor, and I'm just sad, but I do have at least I have Fetch and Spins. <laughs> they, like, have to counter this. Well, I certainly hope they don't have an oath. We did get a force out of their hand just for a balance, so balance worked out pretty well. Can't be mad about that. Definitely better than a needle in this situation. I think they have bigger. I wonder if it would be better for them to just vigor my stuff and let balance resolve instead. Not sure.
I think so. It's a blue card that pitches a force and cantrips. I just don't like playing Needle against a deck that plays artifact removal. Like playing Needle against the deck that's playing Claims, Vigors, and Okos is just really silly to me. Oh, they missed a land drop. All right, well, I'm going to jam this this mentor. I probably should have... No, I had to keep that. Yep, definitely going to time walk too. Well, I guess time walk runs into Flusterstorm here. So I'm actually not going to. Yeah, I actually think I'm not going to. I'm definitely going to cycle this dress down at any point here. I will probably activate my top and upkeep and play top. Oh, they hit Orchard. Feels like a good top deck, especially if they have an oath. They don't have an oath. I'm not going to do it end of turn. I'm going to do it end of second main. Yeah, sure. This feels like a big win. We just got a Pyroblast out of their hand for time walk. I feel like I have sequenced this game and picked very, very good timing windows. Uh, I mean, they might have two Pyroblasts, right? Yep, two Pyroblasts. They have a misstep. Okay. I have two artifacts on the top of my library at least. And they're going to 10. And I have a spirit for two, five. Yeah, I have enough. Misstep was interesting there. My mentor just kind of snuck in this game. Might be good enough. You can't Pyroblast. Well, you can. You can't counter Mentor with Pyroblast. I think we played this game very well. I'm very happy with this win. It's a hard, super hard matchup. But four Pyroblast, three Flusterstorm, no Saga doesn't care. Okay, here we go. Round four, Vintage Super RCQ, currently 3-0. Kind of not a great hand. Could be anything. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. It's totally keepable hand, but I just... I don't know. Land Mulligan. <laughs> Always Mulligan. London is broken. It's free. The power of London. Oh no, what is that? Okay. At least it's not Squee Vine, it's Cradle Vine. So it means they have collector roofs, uh, but they don't have counter magic. I'm just going to keep all of my artifact mana in my academy and just go ham. My opponent is on five cards.
Should look at a new cradle vine list. I haven't been paying attention. Cradle vine, cradle vine, cradle vine, cradle vine, cradle vine, cradle vine. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Maybe that one. Uh, Vigors, okay. So they kept a five card hand. They... I assume they have a bazaar. Yep. Activate bazaar. Six down to three. And then... Let's see what we get. Two uh, red root wallers are gone. Uh, so that should lower the chances of getting vine, but there's still, you know, four hollow ones, four green root wallas, and two red root wallas. Yep. It looks like it's going to be the very classic mulligan into nine free power. As is per usual. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to force this emerald, um, and if they don't have a hollow one in play uh, in their hand, it means they're not going to be able to bring back the Vengevine this turn. <laughs> Ooh, that play is so good. I just countered Vengevine. Okay. Um, so they can still have Vigor here, which is definitely unfortunate. I don't really think I'm supposed to play around Vigor in any meaningful way. I think we're just supposed to jam everything. I could theoretically just go Lotus, tap Academy, and cast Ancestral, and try to get myself into a position that is better, and that will help me play around Vigor. But let's see. If I go Opal Lotus, maybe what I'll do is I'll go Opal Lotus Academy, and that way they can't vigor my Opal and my with a Mana Crypt on the stack. I lose out on a single blue mana, but I can maybe draw into something else. I kind of think I like that idea because if they vigor my Opal and my Lotus, that's fine. I think Opal Last is worse because I, I don't want my my Mana Crypt to get uh, killed. Is what I'm trying to play around. They might also have misstep, which I guess would be a huge nightmare. All right. So now the question is, do we play around Vigor? And... I think the answer is no. The answer is no. Yeah. All right, this game's over. Just a lot of a lot of easy wins today. I shouldn't say that. Yeah, this is conceded. This is yeah. Definitely conceivable from the opponent's side. Okay. Uh, so Lavinia is great. Uh, Needle is great. Tormod's Crypt is not great. Uh, Tabernacle is fine. And then Swords are good. Um, uh, Citadel is bad. Narset is bad. Teferi is bad. Uh, Hercules is bad. I typically don't like Flusterstorm, uh, even though I am like kind of playing a rap, like not, I'm playing into Vigor a little bit, but I, I just don't really like Flusterstorm very much. Maybe we'll find something better to take out, but. Uh, mental Misstep. I think I'll keep Mental Misstep in. Dress Down, you keep in because the opponent is a four collector roof deck. These games we're looking to Sphinx and, and Mentor. I might just take out a Opal. That looks fine. I could possibly take out like uh, a PO and keep in a, a Flusterstorm. 
but I think I'm just gonna do this. Like we don't we aren't like priced into keeping Flusterstorm because we don't have Saga in our deck where we're like if we have Saga we have a, a critical weakness to Vigor. Um but without Saga, like Vigor is still good against us, don't get me wrong, but it is what it is. Interesting hand. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand though. It's a little broke. That's a little like rough, unfortunately. But I think it has enough enough going for it that we were willing to keep it. Obviously, we lose out on our sinker target, but uh, having access to being able to wipe a turn one broken board and having a refill and having an answer to cr uh, collect roof. Nope, my opponent's deck does run Besaju. They run like three Besaju. So they have plenty of answers. They, not plenty, but they have answers to Sphinx. They don't have no answers. I mean, Sphinx is still good against them. You still want Sphinx. Vengevine. No hollow ones. Mentor is great. I'm just going to Tundra pass. I think is a... I don't really want to overdraw here. No, for no, no, for, there's no reason to. My opponent's deck does play misstep, though, so I may upkeep Ancestral. I think I'm going to. Okay, we hit no Moxon, no lands, which is really problematic for us. This is super bad, and no forces either. Basically the worst possible Ancestral, I would say. I mean, maybe Needle is not the worst possible, but it's real bad for us. It's pretty close to the worst thing that could have happened, though. We are just super behind. We just have no Moxin and no lands in our top of, uh, our top of, uh, 11 or so. Mm. I guess it's more like top 5, right? All right, Besaju is gone. Two collector roofs are gone. Hollow one is in. Do we have double Hollow one Vengevine? Then it will really depend on what kind of mana source they play. Strip mine. Are they going to strip mine my Tundra? Interesting. So. Hmm. I'm just going to Needle Bazaar. Maybe they'll even, like, strip mine my Tundra. I don't think I want them to strip mine my Tundra, to be honest. I'm going to play out this Tabernacle. I will pitch to hand size. I don't think I want my Opal to get killed by Vigor. I think it's fine for me to, like, lose a, a dressed a, a PO here. PO is so bad here. Looks like they do have Vigor. No, no Vigor. Okay. Well, they didn't want to strip mine my Tabernacle either. Looks like they're just going to pay for Hollow One instead. Interesting. We do have a nice Swords for this, though, so... No. I think PO's worse. Okay, they have Gaia's Cradle. That's why they didn't strip mine. We're not, like, dead dead. We do need to hit fetch lands, probably. Tundra is fine. You know, wait till they pay for the hollow one, and then we can swords it in combat. Or, yeah, probably in combat. I really would like to maybe draw force. I don't know if I have time to draw force. I think I just need to draw fetch lands. <laughs> I still think they have Vigor in their hand. So you're going to pay with your Cradle or your Strip Mine? Cradle. Alright. I'm going to Swords this now. Again, I, I still think they could have Mist Up in their deck. I really don't want that to happen. So now they have a Strip Mine. They can't activate Bazaar yet. I don't think I'm in a horrible place. Another dress down. I think I need to cycle this. I 
Okay. <laughs> this is definitely a game of Magic the Gathering. Uh, I can't do anything about that. That gives them mana. This is an oof. Sure. Kind of wish they had killed off my, um... Well, I don't want to discard, so I'm going to hit this in play. Uh, I think they still have Vigor. <laughs> I really think they have Vigor. I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to let them pay for this oof. I'm actually probably going to take two from this oof, and then at end of turn, I'll swords the oof. Because uh, I don't want this emerald to be turned on. But I do have an, a, a, an opal possibly next turn. I still would love to draw just four so I don't have to worry about vigor. But I guess I'm like really worried about getting strip mined, right? Maybe. I don't know. Strip mine's like a little bad for opponent, a little bad for me. Especially if I swords this. I don't know. I don't know. Very odd game of magic. It's only really odd because my ancestral was so bad. <laughs> this tabernacle has been weird. It slowed my opponent down, but it could come back and bite me too if I'm trying to do mentor things. All right, end of turn. I'm going to hit this collector roof. It does let them cast once upon a time, I guess, but... This does let me activate top in response to a, a Vigor, which is nice. I don't think I'm going to spin, because I'm still looking to just, like, deploy Mentor, right? Nice. Alright, well, my Tabernacle officially is going to be annoying, I think. Well, I can actually go uh, Opal P.O. That's probably even better, actually. Also protects my needle. Once upon a time, right? Okay. See what happens. I also have vampiric. I could have guessed I could have vampiric, but I can't tinker, so like they hit on a root wall, huh? Uh, yeah, but then you're turning off Mentor, so it, like, doesn't really work very well. Casting Rootwalla. You got it. I think I'm just gonna P.O. at the end of turn here. Maybe there's a better Vampiric, to be honest. I know I can dress down the P.O. I'm, I, mm, I'm just P.O.ing. I, there could be a really good Vamp here. But I just don't know what it is. This is a draw three. Feels really good. Hmm. Okay, now I have a force. Okay. I feel really good now. I feel like I'm in control of this game. Oh, Mana Crypt's so good, too. I can get pretty close to Sphinx now. Obviously, I can still get Besaged, so, like, Sphinx is not my number one plan. But I'm gonna just go Mentor... Uh, and then I, does, I can probably do dress down into maybe draw another PO or something. Because Tabernacle should be giving them this ability. I think I should be able to dress down this ability off them for a turn. Is that true? I don't know if that's ever came up. All creatures have this ability. It doesn't reapply. 
So I should be able to just dress down. Uh, and that should just be winning. Uh, I do want to play out top. Or no, I can have a vamp as well. Okay, I think I just pass. We'll just dress down and we'll vamp for a PO and kill our opponent like that. Which is the weirdest thing ever, but we'll do it. I think we are just like locked to win this game at either way. We finally hit our mana sources, so like opponent is just not powerful enough. Ooh, they did draw collector roof, which I will I will have to force. Uh, because I don't have two lands to make uh my dress down happen, unfortunately. I'm having a pretty good tournament. I'm running fairly hot and I think I'm playing reasonably well. So um all things considered, it's going quite well. I'm just going to pitch this Sphinx, because the Ponder is more useful. Dressdown will stop Prowess, but what we're going to do is we're going to tutor for a PO and pick up our uh, Dressdown. We just want to get all of our Monk tokens in. Um, it's going to be really fun, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our end step. And then we're going to vamp for a PO. I guess my opponent, yeah, there's no good window for them to do anything really. Why did I just yield through this? I don't understand. So I am going to put a PO on the top of my library. And then I'm going to dress down. Dress down is the coolest card, I swear. And that should turn off the tabernacle. Yep. So then we get to go to our turn, and then we PO, and then we can prowess and kill our opponent. That's so cool. God. That's awesome. Uh, after I pick up my dress down, we can. <laughs> this is a win. They have the Vigor finally. Doesn't matter. <laughs> that was cool. I've never done that before. Um, that was a sweet one. All right, Forno, welcome to round five of the Vintage Super. We are up against I Draft the Beats, fellow streamer Ben. Uh, they are on Doomsday today. So, what do we got? <laughs> We've got the classic Tundra Tundra Demonic Tutor hand. Uh, let's mulligan that. Then we've got, good lord, probably a keep because misstep snap misstep might be reasonable here, especially with maybe vampiric for ancestral, maybe a snap ancestral. This looks fine. I can just fetch this now. In case I, I haven't looked at his doomsday list, it could be like main deck opposition agent or something. Definitely not going to Vampiric right then. Wait till the end. I think we just look for like Vampiric Ancestral. Uh, I don't know if we end up time walking though. Probably not. Yep, 
Yeah, I think this is just a pretty simple ancestral line. So it's going to be uh, an offensive, defensive, and plays well with Snapcaster Mage. Uh, I think it would be silly to time walk into a fluster storm here. So I am just going to pass. Um, I may look for a window to Ancestral. If they crack a fetch right now, I might just Ancestral myself. Plays into their one negation, but plays around all of their fluster stuff. I think they were probably just supposed to fetch uh, in response to Vamp. Uh, yeah, but Ancestral has, like, multiple positive uses here, right? Like, it's going to be good with my Snapcaster Mage. It's going to be good uh, against my opponent. I can't Ancestral now, because, like, obviously, if they have Crack and have Fluster, I could actually beat Fluster with um, Misstep and Pay. But then I'm opening myself up to combo, getting combo killed. Hmm, that's actually kind of interesting. I could Ancestral, they could Fluster, I could Misstep and Pay. But then I lose my one piece of protection here. Which is kind of feel bad. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I do have like, I have like misstep, snap, misstep. So as long as I don't get like Black Lotus, it's quite hard for me to die. Two Street Wraiths. If they go to end step and like miss, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna resolve ancestral now. Not the best. I'm just snapping off a misstep on this. I think they don't have lands. All right, well, now I'm in, like, really good shape, I think. I don't have anything going for... Like, I don't have any way to win yet, but I have at least solid action. See what's in my opponent's hand. So they do have Force of Will, Force of Negation, Doomsday, Doomsday, Dig, Fluster, Brainstorm. So they had all the things I thought they would have. Um, which means we can't really snap Ancestral right here. I think what we're going to do is just uh, Time Walk... I'm going to play out this Opal. We are in a little bit of trouble for sure. These draws weren't great. At least this gives us something to play towards. So we have Snap Ancestral, Snap Walk, Snap Probe, Snap Misstep. We have PO. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to go to their turn. We didn't really draw a perfect... Like, we, well, you kind of want some of these lands to just be Moxon. I don't think Snap Ancestral on my turn is, like, super good. Okay, I'm going to respond with Snap Ancestral to this. I mean, this is just going to get forced, unfortunately, but I don't think opponent was supposed to force the Ancestral. Ancestral is like, wasn't really very good for me. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, force fluster... So they still have negation, unfortunately. Uh, and hopefully this brainstorm locks them. If it hits like Dark Ritual uh, fetch land, it's really bad for us, right? We are in trouble. I think the two PO draws into all land-based mana is like really rough. We've cast a lot of good spells this game, but we just haven't had like... Like, it really just needs to be, like, Mox Mox instead of Tundra Tundra, because then we have just, you know, easy PO for threes. <laughs> I 
I mean, that's kind of the difference where I have a hand that has mana and, the, and they have a hand that has spells, right? Usually the hand that has spells is going to be the better one. So they did hit a land, but they didn't hit a ritual right away. They didn't hit a fetch land either. Ruby's a good draw for sure. Uh, I, I'm going to pass. I don't want to get negated. Um, I don't think I'm going to PO right away. I'm looking to maybe end step PO. See what they do here. They do have fetch. So they might just go for Doomsday. I am representing Hardcast Force, though. It's a tough game for us, honestly. It's going to be really rough. They have Active Dig. Like, they don't have to play Doomsday right now. They can, like, it's really unfortunate. Like, they can just uh, pass a turn at my end step. At the end step, I'm going to PO. And they can just, like, dig in response and find Fluster. But what else am I going to do, right? I need to convert these into cards. They don't have to either. Like, they could just not care about my divination. All right, I guess it's an instant speed. So this is actually what the what's the four mana draw to? There's a bunch of those. Never playing them in standard. Hmm. All right, so looks like we're getting fetch dig in response. Inspiration. They printed like a multi oh they played hard cast negation. That's interesting. All right, I'm just looking for Mox, uh, a non-opal Moxin into PO for three. Okay. I guess they could have two negations. I don't think they have two negations in their deck. They had force. Pitching Oracle. Oh, I guess we're dead. So they should have all the same cards now because they had Brainstorm. So they should have Dig Through Time or Doomsday. Oh, they don't have all the same cards. What am I missing here? Thought they had brainstorm and that. Oh, they had a fetch, so they kept one new card. Okay, so that means they probably got rid of one of their doomsdays, right? Oh, they're going for dig. Okay. Maybe they got rid of all of their doomsdays. Yeah, I just remembered them playing a non-fetch, but all right. So there's a doomsday in hand and a dig on the stack, and we have the top deck. <laughs> They hit Dark Ritual, they hit Demonic. So the Demonic, Lotus, Doomsday, Gusher, Street Wraith wins. Looks like they have it the way they're playing. Doomsday is just the superior combo deck. It's just it's so resilient. Not much to say. I think I like the way we played this game. I think we took lots of good lots of good choices. Doomsday is just... Uh, I, I do think Doomsday is just like a better deck than PO. Yeah, my opponent did have to hit exactly Force, kind of. They kind of had to hit Force on their Brainstorm, right? So. Well, uh, uh, I don't know. I think Pioneer is like pretty stupid, but... Yeah, so they had Street Wraith. All right, so we just die. Not much we can do here. I, my opponent just countered all of the things that mattered, except for our first Ancestral, and then combo killed us. Not much to say. Very unfortunate. Yeah, we weren't winning this game anyways. 
All right. Uh, we do have a pretty reasonable Doomsday sideboard because Doomsday's messed up. We've got uh, Opposition Agents, Lavinia's, Karn, Fluster. It's a very heavy sideboard. But we kind of have to because we've boarded a bunch of our main deck uh, removal. So we can board out one Island, Swords, Balance, Hercules, and Sphinx. And one more. Dress Down is super good in this matchup. I mean, we're like super strong against Doomsday post board. Like, we're boarding in a really heavy anti Doomsday package. Uh, usually Mystical Tutor. This looks pretty good. I mean, our deck looks really good against Doomsday, so. We have the ability to turn one Lavinia or Opposition Agent. Quite strong. Fairy's not restricted, but it's a very clunky card. Uh, I don't really care about a shield Druid. I have Dress Down and Teferi. The best part about Dress Down is you just get to it, you just have main deck removal. That's a cantrip and a PO target and a force of will pitch. It's like it's the most nuts. This card is crazy good. I'm not worried about Shieldred at all. Like I could lose the Shieldred, but I'm not really worried about it. Don't have to keep in like Swords of Plowshares against them. It's really, really nice. It's a rough game one to lose, because our hand was like, well, we did mulligan on the play, right? And then vamped. So we were pretty low on cards. And yeah, like our main our main has one, two, three, three anti our uh, creature cards, one anti artifact card, so it's a pretty easy swap. And all of these cards are good against Doomsday. Even Karn. But like Lavinia, the opposition agent. Like opposition agent is the best. Fluster is very good. Lavinia is very good. Karn's okay. Just looking for a hand that has a, a you know a nice fast uh hate bear. Ugh. This hand's gross because I think we have to keep it, but I really dislike it. I mean, if we don't hit land, maybe we can't keep this at all. Both of these planeswalkers are good, but we would have to hit multiple lands and just or and mana sources. I just don't think that's what we're going to be able to do. Even though we have missed up Fluster, which I really, really like. I did aggressively missed up a Ponder in the first game, but I think I kind of liked it. I'm going to mulligan this hand. The problem is, even if I get to my three mana, which means I hit two mana sources, I still can't hold up Fluster, so it's, like, not very good. I'm just gonna mulligan this hand. This hand is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, time to roll the dice, I think. Just looking for um, an opal or a land to play Tinker or Opposition Agent. So, it's a keep. But it's a, it's a rough one. I'm going to keep this hand every time. It's just the, the kind of power level you're looking for. Time to roll the dice. The question is, do we just blind draw with our top? Would I keep this hand on seven? Probably not. Six on the play, though. Imagine they negate this. That'd be pretty crazy. I can't imagine you would, but if they do, it's pretty good. <laughs> I can't imagine you would negate this, but if they do negate it, it is really bad for us. It's just usually better to counter the payoffs in PO. Wow. I guess if they're worried about opposition agent and they don't have a force of will, that makes a lot of sense too. I mean, they're streaming right now. 
I mean, it's going to kill us. Okay. Um, I mean, we have a lot of good draws, so. No, I mean, if their hand doesn't contain a force of will and they're scared of me playing opposition agent, yeah. That's what that's what they said in chat. No, no, it's a it's a it's a correct play if they don't have a force of will, right? They know I have two opposition agents because my decks are always public. It makes sense. I just like didn't respect that as a play, which is fine I still, I think. They missed their land drop off of Preordain. I'm not playing around Mind Break Trap either. Uh, okay. So I am going to order this misstep on top, unfortunately. Uh, in case I have to do something. Are they going to go Dara Demonic Lotus Doomsday here? Okay. I mean, it's turn three, and I'm alive against Doomsday, so it's not much more than I could normally be asking for here. I mean, they probably have a read I don't have force, right? But they, I could have force on my top, I guess. We're, we're just super dead. Uh, my opponent goes Doomsday, Gusher, Street Wraith, and then kills me. So. Necro. Necro is not Doomsday. So there's still a chance. But the, 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 the chance that they draw a force off of Necro is quite high. Uh, I don't know. Like, they just have to draw to a force, right? So the question becomes, do I draw with my top to get my Sapphire so I can play around Daze? Or do I spin with my top to Tinker and keep my top for Tinker? I think I have to spin. The, pro the other problem is I would really rather P.O. because I don't lose my Moxin, but... I guess I could also, I could also like merchant for force and have force misstep. Oh, I didn't spin anyways. Uh, okay. That was probably bad. I don't really like the way I play this. I wanted to spin on upkeep. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, if they force the Sapphire, I guess that's pretty good too. I wish I ha I didn't. <laughs> I really wish I didn't. Uh, uh, I didn't. I wish I spun on upkeep. I don't know why I didn't. It looks like they have a negation, or I will. Which means I don't think I can actually go for Tinker. I probably just have to Merchant Scroll for Force with Force missed up. They're seriously considering this. Ah, oh, man. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm going to need good luck the way I'm playing right now. Not really happy with this game. The other four rounds I've been pretty happy with, but this round I'm not thrilled. I guess I, really, I liked how I played round game one of this, but... I mean, they could be bluffing, but they also drew seven cards last turn. I 
I'll be pretty happy, I guess, if they force this. Like, I'll be happy I have the missed up because I can at least, like, have a play next turn against their, their combo. So, I don't think it's the end of the world if this gets forced. It certainly makes my life harder. I do think I'm going to Merchant Scroll for Force as well, though. Obviously, they get to just, like, drew another draw with Necropotence, but... There's just, like, no shot Ben tanks here without having Force. I guess I can, can't really... Yeah, so Force Pitching Oracle. All right. Well... Pretty bad for me. Kind of needed a land instead of a Moxon this time. Yeah, we're just getting really bullied by uh, just a more conc uh, a concrete deck. So this is pretty good for me. Let's see what happens. So we know the next card down is Sensei's top and then... Oh, come on! All right. Well, we died. Now, playing against uh, Doomsday is a hell of a drug. Why do we activate Necro after resolving Doomsday? Oh. Maybe they accidentally Necroed uh, something they need. I don't know. I mean, our hands weren't particularly bad. They were just mulligans on to six on the play. Like, both our hands had, like, you know, they had a upside to them, for sure. Then they just get the Necro after, but... That gives us a turn, but the problem is our turn is, uh... We have to basically draw top, play top. Um... I mean, they get to just Necro end of turn here and grab a bunch of Force of Wills, so I, I don't think we could ever win. They go to four, and then they activate Necro three times and get a four, or activate Necro two times, get a Force of Will, and then we lose, right? Like, what are we supposed to do? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, in Doomsday, my deck is a combo deck that revolves around restricted cards, and my opponent's is a combo deck that revolves, revolves around four ofs and just has restricted cards that make it better. Yeah, but that's just never going to happen, right? Because my opponent has an active Necropotence, which means they can, even if they don't have a cantrip that wins the game, which it looks like they don't, or they wouldn't be talking, or like, they wouldn't be thinking about this very hard. Um, all they have to do is activate Necro twice to draw Force. Puts them to two life. They Force, and they untap in the Ancestral. Like, I have no counterplay. They have, this is deterministic. I, they know I'm drawing top, and they know I don't have a didn't have a counter spell. So I don't I don't know I don't know what we're waiting on really. Maybe they don't have even if I guess if they don't have blue cards in their hand, if they had no blue card, yeah, they're just getting mental mist up. See, oh, well, mental mist up might not be. Oh, they have the blue mana. Okay, yeah, so they're just gonna get mental mist up for top and kill me. I can see it highlighted. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know what we're thinking about really. It's just you put mental misstep and ancestral on top of your library, activate necro twice, misstep my top, untap ancestral into black lotus oracle. Also they have a necro floating, don't they? Oh, maybe that's why they activated it before doomsday. They wanted uh why would you do that? Does that matter? <laughs> just makes you have another thing to play around. <laughs> Yeah, our line is obviously like top spin. Hope it hits Lotus, Lotus into Tinker, and hope it wins. But it doesn't. It's not going to win. So, uh, I I mean I really like my deck versus Doomsday. Um, post board, I think it's quite good. But Doomsday is Doomsday. Uh, 
Oh, you did it pre... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's pretty heads up play. Like, my opponent had acknowledged that if uh, they let a mana crypt resolve there and I have a land, I just play turn one opposition agent and they lose, which is makes a lot of sense. I think it's a good thing to have access to, but I did get wrecked pretty hard by not having an actual land in my hand. Would I still keep the hand again? Probably. The misstep for my misstep was particularly harmful to my psyche. Yeah. I don't know what the holdup is, really. I'm not, I'm trying to figure out, like, what, what could have gone wrong that this is complicated, right? What, what am I missing? As long as you get Force Blue card off of your Necro... Yeah, but then you just draw it, right? Uh, oh, wait, you don't just... Yeah, and you just draw it, so... I don't know. Two, three. Three Necros. Now they can't force. I guess they just have Fluster instead. I didn't see misstep get highlighted. It went away at one point. We know the top card is PO, so we have to spin. So we have to hit like Talarian Academy and then they have to have nothing, right? Oh yeah, negation pitching fluster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what the, I don't know what the problem was. Negation doesn't cost life. Kind of forgot about that. Now they don't even have to draw. They can just cast Oracle. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It seemed pretty straightforward to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think I would play the games the same again. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. Okay, here we go. Now round six out of eight. Three more rounds of magic to go. We're up against Doomsday Expert. Uh, I got a nice hand here, though. So let's see what happens. Double top eight, I believe, last weekend. Interesting. So, well, I, I put a lot of extra stuff in my deck to make it good. So, Maybe I should have let on Pearl. That way, it's much easier for me to pay for everything. I don't think I'm going to cast Demonic. I think I'm going to look at uh, an end step PO as, as bait. I'm going to fetch in the upkeep, though. Well, Gataxium Probe. Looking at my hand, that's cheating. Hmm. <laughs> 
All right. So the problem, there's a lot of problems right now. Um, number one problem is Black Lotus actually would probably be better as an Opal. Because if I end step PO and they fluster, I can pay, but then I lose my Lotus, so I'm drawing less. Kind of just wish it was an Opal here. I probably will crack my Lotus and pay, but like... Crack my Lotus and Fluster looks really bad. But this does let me go Demonic Tinker with Fluster still, so it's probably fine. So they do have Force. We saw the life total go down. I'm just going to let it get Forced, I think, for sure. They know my hand, so they know what's going on. Cataxium Probe. Six cards in hand for the opponent. I mean, I think they probably are supposed to force it. Three cards is a lot of cards, but it does, like, turn on their Fluster Storm by me having to really play a bunch of mana. I can't really, like, kill them next turn if this just resolves. Whereas, if they force this and I untap and I Demonic Tinker Fluster, they could die. I do think I'm going to force the issue, though. Cycle first. Crack. Yep, we got another match for a Doomsday. Fluster. Hmm. Just gonna let this happen, and I'm just gonna go Demonic Tinker with Fluster back up and hope it's good enough. I don't think I want to pay my Lotus here. Ooh, I kind of that might change things. Hmm. So the problem with casting PO hmm. trying to figure out what I lose to. I guess I lose to force plus fluster. Or will I have enough to pay? I don't think I'll have enough to pay. They have Force plus Second Fluster. So I can go Underground Seed, Demonic. I can go... I don't even have to play my land. I can just t Tinker. But then I lose both my Lotus and my Mana Crypt. Or maybe my Pearl. And if I lose at the end of that, I don't have a PO after. So I think I am going to just play Island... And PO. This could be wrong. But this is a lot better against Force Fluster. I still have Demonic um, Tinker. Yeah, they have Force. Pitching Force. Um, wow.
I'm just going to fluster this, I think. Really hard, actually. Well, I don't... The problem is... Um, oh, they can Dark Ritual. I think that's fine. We can just Demonic Tinker on the next turn. I don't have Tinker, a Demonic Tinker now, though, because I don't have it unless I hit an Opal. But I do have the ability to, like, Demonic for a Force if I have hit another, like, power, another, another payoff. I hit Force myself, but I... All right, well, now I have enough, right? Unless they have Fluster after all of this. Oh, no, I don't have a... I do have black. How much do I have? So I don't have force backup. Maybe I just hold open force. And then go for it next turn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I have hardcast force, but I don't have hardcast force to protect demonic. I'm just going to wait, and then I'll do Demonic Tinker on the next turn. We have so much mana now. And I don't actually get lost. I don't lose right now to Fluster, I don't think. So. Uh, I do let the Doomsday resolve. Because even if they have a draw spell, I can still counter it. But I'd rather not counter it if I don't have to. does make them build a pile, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Don't really want to sit through that. This does let us have an um, Ancestral kill, maybe? They know we have Demonic, they just don't know we have Force. I think we're going to get a Tinker, is what we're going to do. We could just get um, Yogwill, actually. Demonic Yogwill is actually better here. Demonic, Lotus, Yogwill, double PO, plus Demonic. Yeah, yeah Yogwill, unless we have to use our Force. Should just be Yogwill. Wow, okay. They had Gush in their hand. They don't have a land drop to give, though. So do I have enough? No, now I don't have a black source to go for Yogwill. So now I have to... Oh, now I hit a black source to go for Yogwill. Yeah, this is Demonic, Yogwill, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to be lethal. Yep, okay, sweet. Uh, Probably just kill with a citadel activation. Um, is there any cleaner way of doing this? 
Oh, I still have Merchant P.O. Land, land, land. Got to be pretty close now. Oh, I definitely have it. Okay. Um, I just... Demonic... Citadel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we can just cast Narset. Activate Narset. Works. Academy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got game one. That's good. And then we get to sideboard in Karn, Lavinia, Op Agent, Fluster, sideboarding out Sphinx, sideboarding out Hercules, sideboarding out Swords, sideboarding out Balance, uh, sideboarding out... What else did I sideboard out? Island... And there was one more card. Eight round tournament today. 208 players. Oh, mystical, mystical, mystical. Mm-hmm. All right. Karn is good because it is a non-fluster stormable uh, threat that slows the opponent down. It's not great. It's just fine. No, we don't need swords. We have sword, we have dress down. That's the best part about dress down. So if we hit a mana source, we can play Karn on turn one and then opposition agent. If we don't hit a mana source, we don't have that. <laughs> we have to do some sinking. Hit P.O. Oh. All right, so I'm going to go Lotus. Oh, my God, I just exposed myself to Days. Fucking idiot. Uh, probably would have been fine if I got Dazed, actually. I think we're just looking at end of turn opposition agent. We do have Crack P.O., if we if we just we're just mana short really, and we have we have dress down as protection too, so I'm just gonna pass. I I, de I definitely should have let on not opal or not lotus probably. All right, well, I've got an opposition agent. Go force. Yep. Force pitching force. It's good. We're not on. Uh, we're not dead. We have a dress down to protect us from a doomsday kill. Uh, so we're not dead. If we hit a land next turn, we have a nice, maybe end of turn PO into Karn or something. This Karn really doesn't do anything besides you know be a null rod. So maybe it's actually not even that good. I forgot. I don't have a lattice. They don't know I don't have a lattice, but I don't have a lattice, which actually makes this Karn really bad, now that I think about it. <laughs> Oops. Well, wish I had a Karn. <laughs> Maybe Karn's great. All right, well, now I really just want to hit land and slam Karn. Force. All right, well, I'm going to slam Karn off of Lotus then.
Okay, it resolves. Um, I don't think you want to animate Lotus because that gives them card for dig through time. So don't want to do that. I could Tormod script them to put them farther away from dig. We could Needle naming Street Wraith is also acceptable. Needle Street Wraith is also an extra card for PO if we hit mana. I think that makes it the best option. My own is on Doomsday. Oh, wait. Are we sure we want a Needle Street Wraith if I'm holding up and dress down? Uh, this could come back and bite me, but without... Car, yeah, it's probably safe. It's a little, it's a little dicey. But with a Karn and Street Wraith needled, it should be hard to die on one turn. We can crypt our graveyard to hard cast Sphinx. This is a true statement, but I, I don't think we're doing that. Uh, will I counter Demonic Tutor? The answer is no. I don't know what they're going to tutor for. I kind of just want to hit land and pass PO. Mox Crypt is mana Crypt's pretty good. Snapcaster Mage. I think I'm just going to Tormod Crypt them. No, no, no. I'm not going to Crypt us. I'm just going to Tormod Crypt them so they can't play like Dig or anything. I could have killed the Lotus, actually. Uh, no, I couldn't have killed the Lotus because I had just got it. Sometimes I have sideboard open after board. Dark Ritual. So is this going to be Doomsday with Luster back up? Or just Necro? Maybe I just got Necro. Yeah, I'm just going to counter this. I still think PO's our way of winning. Oh, I guess the storm count's too high. Okay. Still probably correct. Yeah, we can't die. And they're gonna put five cards in their yard or five cards left. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better. Hmm. So they have two cards in hand. They can't use Black Lotus. They can't use Street Wraith. We have a oops, I win on any mana source. I guess they could have Daze theoretically too, but if we lose this game, it's probably because I played badly. I don't know exactly what I would do different, but I don't think I would have changed how I played this. Like, I could have forced Demonic Tutor, but maybe I could have forced Demonic Tutor. That's probably the only change I would have made. Eight round tournament. I mean, I still have PO. I still have Dress Down. So there's a lot of things that are going well still. But we are like going to be on the clock here to get killed by an Oracle. I could figure out their pile, but I don't really want to. <laughs> they did bring in Shieldreds, two Shieldreds. Um, let's, let's just take a look. They have two Oracles missing. No, no, no. Dress down is good against them. We're not cycling Dress down. Though Dress down would give us a higher chance of hitting PO, obviously. I don't think that's correct. No, there's no cavern. We do force. Um, I don't think standing up helps us. 
All right, well, I have Force and Address down. I don't think I'm dying. Blue, black, gush. Gush down to two cards. So the problem is... Force, 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 force. So I can let this all happen, and Dress Down has... There's nothing that counters Dress Down. So I think it's fine to let everything happen. Unless I'm missing something, like um, a, a Spell Pierce or something. No, uh, Force is not going to work, because I think they have Fluster. One, two, three... No, they have no Fluster. Wait, what am I missing here? So they duress me. I guess duress is actually going to beat me, right? Because I will be able to dress down this turn, but not next turn. All right, I mean, they, they have to take P.O., though, don't they? I might lose this game, right? Because they have a land drop to give. And then next turn they'll play it. So they have to take PO here and hope I don't draw a blue card. Yo, what's up, Zio? Mm. Like they can't win the game this turn. They took the PO. All right, so they're just banking. I don't draw a blue card. No, there's no cavern in Vintage uh, Doomsday. We lose. Wow. We don't have a lantern. We just lose. We needed to hit a mana source or a blue card. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. That's broken. Oh my god. I just saw it. I just saw it. That's craziest shit. <laughs> uh, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I just saw it. This happens like a decent amount, but not enough that... It's on the, the top of your radar. Good lord. Okay. Okay, here we are. Seventh out of eight rounds. Vintage Super Qualifier up against uh, MTG Grinder Bhutan, huh? What do I have? I have... Hmm... It's a very odd hand. Not a great hand against a combo deck. But a totally reasonable hand against any kind of aggro deck. Even if it's not a combo deck, time walk into a mana source to fairy looks pretty decent. I think I'm going to keep this. It's kind of a sus hand. It's a little bit sus hand for sure. It's not like a it's not like the other hands we've been keeping this tournament that have been super powerful. And it is definitely worse if my opponent is on, like, Doomsday or something, but I don't think they will be. Um, I think there's a reasonable chance they're on Mono White, but I also think there's also a reasonable chance they're on Tinker. It's hard to say.
So my opponent might not be here yet. So I'm going to just pause the recording. All right, we're back here now. Let's battle. I have fetch. I'm going to play out the opal. Obviously, it shows what we what deck we're on, but I think it's better than like getting randomly Thalia or something. Oh my god, we're getting oops. No, wait, it could be could be mono white. Could be mono white. Is it mono white or is it oops all spells? If it's oops all spells, I'll be super sad. If it's mono white, we picked a great hand. Oops is worst possible. Mono white is best possible, probably. So, yep, mono white. Let's go. Okay, so rewarded for our source of posture is balance keep. Uh, obviously, Teferi, uh, Linea is annoying, but spirit is totally fine. I don't even think I'm going to swords the spirit. Maybe I will swords the spirit because I kind of want to bounce the chrome box. I mean, I have this balance, though. But I'd love to be able to bounce the chrome box. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to swords the spirit so that I can bounce the chrome box. I do have to hit on Mana or Moxen, but... Not great. Okay. I still have balance backup for, uh... Archon or something. We don't really have a lot going for us right now, but we don't need too much more. Any draw step balancers? <laughs> it depends. Like, unfortunately, if our opponent has no more lands, um, it's a little rough for us to balance into one land. You know, that's the that's the biggest problem. So we have to see. Balance is a weird card like that. It it it's it's symmetrical. But sometimes it's not symmetrical, but sometimes it is symmetrical. <laughs> so it's like, eh. Like, we still need to draw some action. All right, Chrome Mox is back down. They pitched a seasoned Dungeoneer. Uh, is this going to be Cavern Archon? human so it's gonna be not cleric then so what is this oh okay cool <laughs> uh in response to fetch balance is like actually kind of nuts uh, unfortunately, I'm assuming this will make my balance cost four, and we won't be able to do that unless we had a mox in. I also don't know if that's actually good, because we kind of need to hit two creatures, I think, with our balance. Though I don't really want them to play an adventure. They just named balance, of course. Uh, we drew a flooded strand. It's unfortunate that our balance is going to cost four mana. I don't think we're balancing here. It's unfortunate to lose our Teferi. Well, I really don't want to lose my Teferi. I don't want to lose two mana either, though. 
Yeah, I think we just have to let this happen. I need this balance to maybe kill like an Archon too, right? How does this last? I, even with like kill my Teferi, I can still balance, right? It's just like a static effect. Worst thing that could happen is, uh, hmm. that's a little rough. Wasteland, huh? <sighs> so I don't need to cast balance. I have so much time. I'm just gonna keep going. Holding the opal did get me punished by Trinisphere, though. Yeah, this is bad. I don't think I drew to the level I really wanted to draw in this game. Definitely playing that. Hmm. This game was really weird. I almost hate the fact that I cast swords, but I really liked the Teferi bounce, but maybe the Teferi bounce was insane. I guess it was pretty good. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's... That's so good. <laughs> oh, that's real. That's just really, really unreasonable. Yeah, I mean, I think they've drawn best possibles, right? Non-creature threats. I think we're losing this game. Okay. I mean, that was like just pretty brutal. The Karn is so good. Yeah, I mean... I could have just a fairy bounced the spirit, right? I just really... I mean, if I didn't, they would have had a seasoned Dungeoneer, though, which would have been pretty bad for me, too. I think just this Karn draw is going to kill us. Every, everything else, like, we can keep playing through, but Karn is just going to murder us. I can't beat... Really, can't, can't really beat a Karn. You shut the Force Karn... And I just haven't had the right cards for that. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that would have been better. It's possible. That gives them a turn of Chrome Mox, though. Which I, I didn't really want to... I don't know. It's definitely possible that that was a misplay. It felt pretty good at the time, but... We also didn't really draw into action, right? We drew into lands, which lands are not bad, especially against Wasteland, but... I don't really see how we recover from this, to be honest. Karn is basically just lights out against me. I don't really have ways of beating a Resolve Karn. I mean, my hand was super weird. I haven't really had... Yeah, I don't know. Definitely really sad about this because I had to fair I had swords and balance, which are two of my cards that I think are great in the matchup. But my opponent didn't really have a creature based start. They had, you know, they they drew restricted, uh, colorless things, not not creatures, which is like really rough. <laughs> I mean, we just have not drawn anything remotely. Good enough to win this game. How many cards deep? Or 17 cards deep? Yeah. It's, I mean, like, I could have mulliganed my hand. If I kept a hand that was more powerful, I might have just won on the, on the play, right? So maybe I just shouldn't have kept the hand. I just kind of had a feeling they were on Mono White, and I thought the hand looked good against Mono White. And I think it was good against Mono White, but not against Three Ball Karn. Yeah. I think we drew badly, and they drew great, right? 
That's kind of how I feel. Also, the fact that they like had Peacekeeper to know I balance is a little rough. I mean, I think they're just all on Caracas. Yeah. Yeah. I've only drawn lands or done Inopal artifacts. Nothing really strong. Maybe um oh, I can't I, I I should technically be able to force things too, but I just didn't have a blue card really, right? If I had drawn a blue card instead of Mox, I would have been able to force Karn, and then I'm I think I'm winning if I'm forcing Karn. Hmm. I just can never kill this. So it's like pretty much over. I can draw Tinker Sphinx, actually. That's something I can draw. I don't know what they're tanking on exactly. Maybe they have a creature they want to play, but they don't want to lose it to balance. I can't really afford to lose a, a land to balance, unfortunately. is something I can't afford to do. Actually, if they technically if they play Athalia, I can't balance it because oh they just have a seasoned engineer. That's nuts. That's so good here. Wait, what? Yeah, they just have seasoned engineer. Wow. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> now I can't balance at all. Okay. Oh, I guess I should have fetched. Yeah, I guess they're fetched. Yeah, they're just going to name balance balance here. Okay, I need to draw Tinker. Why did it cost them four mana to play this? What am I missing? Oh, I guess I can pay two to fetch, true. Snap swords. Uh, oh, I can't snap swords because there's a Trinisphere. Uh, all right, so it's Ambush Viper to live for a turn. Okay. Yep. I guess they have Solitude up now. Hmm. Yeah. This sucks. <laughs> it does buy me a turn. I don't think I have any outs other than Tinker now. Cause like the, the second the second anointed peacekeeper being exactly anointed peacekeeper made it so I could never balance again. <laughs> uh oh, they have something coming. Oh, they have lattice. Raft diggers cage. No, it's so smart. What a play. All right, well, I don't really regret keeping that hand. I felt like it had some pretty reasonable upside. All right, so I definitely bring in Karn on the play. Uh, swords. Um, I think Fluster's pretty bad. Misstep's pretty bad. I want to leave a Hercules in. I don't know about Agent. 
probably just supposed to bring them in because they're creatures anyways. But I don't know what I take out in that instance. Flavinia is definitely good on the play, for sure, for sure. What are we really taking out here? If I was on the draw, I would take out Opal top. Our set is bad, agreed. Probe is probably not good enough. I definitely want to keep in Snapcaster with all these swords. Uh, I think I still want both Tinker targets. This is a lot of things. Uh, I feel like I still want Citadel combo. Sphinx is not great, but Sphinx is fine. I think like like having access to Sphinx. Maybe I just like take out top and cantrip. It's like super weird. Maybe top and merchant. Maybe merchant looks kind of bad here. Okay, let's try this. It's kind of weird. The weird board plan. I think I like Hercules. They have um three ball and artifact mana that we can lock out with Lavinia. And they could have constructs and they could have null rod. Um I think Agent just as a three two is fine. Also lets me get Island if we steal um, Initiative Trigger. I think it's fine. Teferi is definitely good. Bouncing a creature is very, very important. I don't think Agent is great. I'm not. I'm not gonna like go to go to. I'm not gonna like die on this hill. I think it's just fine. Uh, turn one, Karn. Easy. Snap keep. My Karn doesn't do anything, but it doesn't let them accelerate, so... I also have a top in my board and a needle in my board, actually. It's kind of nice. Yep, turns off their turn one plays. Uh, the question will be, do I want to fetch a non-basic? Like, I can fetch a, a, a... I can fetch a... Underground C, and I can vamp on my upkeep getting Mana Crypt, which will give me Mana Crypt Opal, and then I can go get a Tormod's Crypt and cast P.O. For three. Yeah. I'm going to probably do that, even if I have a chance of getting Wastelanded. I need to accelerate my game plan. I think I will just start by plussing Karn, though. This also plays around Vine Break Trap. I probably will play the Opal into Trap if they want to trap my Opal, though. Okay. So yeah, I'm looking at, uh, if I don't get uh, Wastelanded, I'm looking at Vamp for Mana Crypt, PO for 3. I think Vamp Recall is worse. Might not be, though. Turning on my Opal is a high priority. Mm. I'm not sure. I wish I had taken Crypt, because then I could maybe get a Lavinia. I don't need a Lavinia. I mean, I'd really like to tinker, but... I could tinker, right? What I could go... Uh, they're probably going to play a thing next turn, so maybe I can't tinker. Could go, like, get a Needle, name Wasteland. Maybe I'll just get Ancestral. <laughs> I 
I'm hoping I'll hit a Mox in so I can Needle Wasteland. Oh wait, did I, I didn't I didn't board a Needle right. I think I did. Holy hell, <laughs> that was so bad. This is why. Ah, uh, I don't know. I feel pretty pretty vindicated in my initial assumption to get Mana Crypt, but you know I should just listen to myself. I'm the expert here. It's really frustrating, but that that's my fault. I should have just listen to myself. I don't know why I, I I shouldn't I should not have been swayed. I gotta just hold to my <sighs> shit. I knew. I just I just knew. Instinctively knew. All right, well, if they play any two-drop creature, we lose. We're not crypting anything. Crypt is a mox for our opal. We were, we were, we were getting crypt with our mana crypt so that we can pee up. No, it is rational thinking. I, my play was, was is, I think my play is more correct. And I just, like, got swayed and I shouldn't have. Oh, I'm so fucking dead. All right, well, it's my own fault. I lost this game because I didn't think to listen to myself. Not much to do. Really, really silly. Really, really silly. I really don't think Anointed Peacekeeper is good against me, but it has been fantastic against me here. Nah, it's not chat's fault. It's my fault. I, I just normally I ignore chat and I do a pretty good job of it, but sometimes. I don't have any additional mana. I guess I can I can get my black lotus back. Okay, so let's think for a second here. So if I crit myself and then I get my black lotus. I go top. Can I PO? I can't even PO. Is this even good? Uh, I don't think this is good. What else is there? There's just needle and plus and pass. Those are all really bad. Maybe I should spin first. I think spinning first is worse. Kind of. <laughs> I'm, one, I'm one short. Uh, not one short. Yeah, I'm one short. Uh, whatever. Maybe I need to find sword. I found force, but I can't force it because it's a it's a human on cavern. Can't believe they had ancient tomb. It's so brutal. One short. Might have actually had this on top. I don't know how this order works. Could have been on top. Could have drawn into it and PO'd. It's kind of asking for a lot. And also my PO would not be very good. It is what it is. I kind of need swords to plow shears, right? Need to draw into swords. Swords the anointed thing and go for a PO combo. Uh, not sure. I don't think so because you have a bunch of mocks in usually. <sighs> yeah. If I had to mana crypt, this game would be super easy. Oh, they're going for spirit instead. Oh, they're they have Thalia and Spirit. It's just lost. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, okay. I mean, I've never seen... Oh, my God. I've never seen Karn so overpowered in this matchup. Karn usually is pretty lights out. But we are getting my, our, our, our ass kicked here. <laughs> it's just... Eh. No, this is just me misplaying. Like, this is a, a game where I'm, I, I think I'm favored to win, and I play badly and lose. So, I don't know. Unlucky. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what do we, what do we even get here? We draw with this. We lose this. We lose this. We draw a top. We plus play plus pass, and we have force citadel on top. We're just dead. We're just super dead. It's fine. I, I got punished. I, I I deserve to lose this game for sure. This is like the kind of play where me as like an experienced PO player understands that getting ancestral is not the best choice. And I just like knew that and still still fucked it up. What they just Laurened it? Alright, whatever, man. <laughs> Sure. I lost to mono white hate bears. Like they played zero initiative creatures. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. We're not, there's nothing to play for here because I have a citadel on top. This dies. I can't force, I can't play this, it's just lost. All right, my own fault. And we're out. That's really frustrating. Okay, here we go. Eighth and final round of the Vintage Super RCQ up against Adam Yurchik. Our hand is powerful, definitely gonna keep. See what we can do. We are probably not in any uh, position to vie for top eight, but, you know, we'll do our best. Bizarre? From at... Really? Wow, that's pretty outside of his normal range. Normal range for um, for Adam is, is Tinker. Wow. All right, so if we can hit an Opal, we could go Opal, Mox, Mox, Balance. I've never seen Adam play uh, Bizarre Baghdad. Pretty brutal. I kind of just want to draw Force. I don't know if they're on Squee or if they're on uh, Cradle Vine. Dress down. Oh, I think we just have to balance. I don't think we have a choice. I know we're also running into Mind Break Trap, unfortunately. I guess we could theoretically play Narset, take 10. Hmm. I feel like there's a world we could play Narset here. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna die. Oh, but then I have to get an Tundra anyways, and that opens me up to Wasteland, which I'm not willing to do. All right, well, I'm gonna flip the game on this balance. Any game flippers? 
Could have Fluster back up crazy. Woo! All right. They played 10 free power. I answered it. Now we need to find out if they're on Cradles or if they're on Counters. I guess technically they can be on both, which is why Cradle Vine, not a great name. They are on Counters. They're on Squee. That's really... Oh, no follow-up, though. So if we can get a Resolve Narset here, we will be in a decent spot. Resolve Narset look, looks okay. Subtlety in the main. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, we lose the Vigor. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, Another Force... Yeah, another four sounds fine. They can still activate Bazaar on my turn and get a card. So it's not the end of the world for them. It's not like locking them out or anything. But we have a PO coming soon. That's an unfortunate draw. Didn't hit a Moxon. Just going to go with top then. We'll go for an end step uh, dress down and then look for a PO. Oh, wow. They're going to put a root walla on the top of their library. Mm. It's a nice play. I think I'm going to counter it. I don't know. I think I'm going to counter it. I don't think I need this Sphinx. It's not a really a long-term game plan, but we're not really looking for a long-term game plan. We're looking to try to win next turn here. I'm going to I think I would rather dress down than spin. Ponder. We're not hitting the mana sources we need here. <laughs> um Okay. That is the one we needed. Wonder, I think we're probably supposed to play around uh, everything and just pass. We lose our dress down, but I don't think I care. Oh no, they hit double root wallet. Oh my god, are they going to bring back Vengevine? <laughs> they just played an instant speed Vengevine on my turn. Alright. Uh, I think we are likely to lose this game. I think my opponent hit pretty well here. They also kept a master in their hand. All right. So I think I'm going to PO in response to this. And I'm going to PO for everything and then hope to win on the next turn. It is, it's not summoning sick. <laughs> it cast it on my turn. It's not summoning sick. I'm going to let them kill the Narset so they can't activate until... They had force? This deck is so broken, man. How is this... Like, this is just not fair in any capacity. 
so frustrating. This deck is just so silly, man. So silly. All right. Still a winnable game. Still a winnable game. The only thing they can have is Mind Break Trap. We have a draw four, a draw five. We set it up in a, a reasonable way. We know we're drawing a land. We know we're drawing three lands. We know we're drawing four lands. Is that enough? We can snap. We only have three mana, so we can't snap balance. We can snap and block. We could dress down into Lotus. Draw and snap. Ba snap balance doesn't even help me, though. I guess we're not dead on board. Oh, we have a mana crypt. Uh, we are kind of dead on board. Mm. What am I looking for? Maybe if I just try to fade this mana crypt flip. And I go to my next turn and try to win with Snapcaster. That might be the best. We just do end of turn dress down. Well, I'm never not, not end of turn dress down, but at least that gets us further. <sighs> okay. Okay. So we have to fade a mana crypt flip here. But if we do fade a mana crypt flip, we have snap PO. Uh, I shot, probably should have ordered it so that we drew... Yeah, I'll change the order to draw the soul ring. Because then I think we have a sustained snap PO. We do have to fade this mana crypt flip though. I think I made the right play. Looks like they have force backup. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna spin and grab one, two, three, four, five, six. So I am allowed to play Soul Ring. Uh, if I play Soul Ring, I have one, two, three. Do I have enough to fluster? Or do I not have enough to fluster? Maybe I just need to take Black Lotus. I have Snap. Yeah, we'll just take Black Lotus. All right, so I have to fade this Mana Crypt flip. If I do, I go Lotus uh PO or snap lotus snap PO and I probably am you know, in a decent spot. Losing this game is a little unfortunate. I feel like we drew enough, but the cards we drew were just not good. We also need to hit like really solid mentor time walk too. So maybe I'm I mean we're pretty close to uh snapping through our deck with PO. I do have to win this flip, of course. Which we did. We did win the flip. I am lagging so badly. The Hades is killing me. <laughs> no. No. 
I have seven. Draw seven. I might have miscounted. I'm kind of off it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, vigor in response. Better to lose one card than to lose my Moxon. All right. Let's see if this is enough to win the game. I'm going to make sure I restart Magic Online before the tournament ends so that I can do data. Oh, can I do that? Maybe I'll do it in between games. Uh, okay, so we still have another snap. Another snap PO. Should definitely start there instead of like demonicing for mentor or anything like that. Uh, this is enough for a PO. That's enough for a snap. So I can play a top. Snap. Second PO. This looks this looks like a win. As long as I don't leave the mana crypt on the table. All right, I hit, I hit Mentor and Yog will and Demonic. Yeah, that should be enough. I will probably lag out of this game, I think. <laughs> right, can I do this without... Yeah, I can do this without um, without any any nonsense. I can just play mentor and time walk, and that's actually just going to be the best. I don't even have to worry about anything. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Uh... All right. So then I just play everything and then kill them with Mentor. Kind of a crazy game, huh? I'm pretty surprised to win this game. I have two tops, so I don't even have to cast Yogwill. I can just cast tops as many times as I have mana. And that's lethal, right? 8, 7, 15, 21. All right. Woo. Exhale. Hades is killing me. All right, I'm going to close Magic Online and open Magic Online. Still lagging like crazy, though. 
I might just have to close the Hades run. What happens if I close the Hades run? I just lose all my progress, right? Mm, not a fan. Broke it. Mm. You can just exit. I just quit. No, it says progress saved 23 minutes ago. Yeah. No. On the phone. All right, I'm back. I think we're back here. Okay, um, we're playing against uh, Squee. We've had some really hard matchups today. Um, Squee is definitely a hard matchup. Uh, we played against Maharu, which is a hard matchup. Uh, a lot of hard matchups today, for sure. Press down, quite bad. Hercules, quite bad. Um... Typically don't like Narza on the draw. Typically don't like mental misstep. Typically don't like... I don't really like swords, but swords gets a little bit better if I have Snapcaster. Um... Oh, maybe that does mean before my 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 last game. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I need to submit. Uh, sixty one cards. <laughs> Easy. It wasn't close to close. It's fine. Good lord. I just submitted sixty one cards with one second left. Oh, okay. Um, it's an interesting hand. I think this is a keep. It's not a, a fantastic hand, but I think it's fine. The fact that we were able to get in a sideboarding there is very good for us. Because post board, we're, we have trouble. Sixty-one cards, baby. Let's go. It was all planned. I swear. Uh oh. I was rather they didn't have a hollow one, but oh come on. All right. Well, this game is this game is toasted. I don't have very many answers to this chalice in the in this version. I think it's just a fairy. Yeah, we're, 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 we're super dead here. They had a squee, five power, and a chalice. We're dead. Uh, we're super dead. We don't really have any counterplay at this point. Because we have to resolve. It's a fairy. But they're not even activating Bizarre anymore. Yeah... Well, I guess what we can do is still hope to resolve Tinker Sphinx and hope it works. I don't know how we're going to do that, but... I guess if we hit, like, Soul Ring, Tinker... Oh my god, they have Double Squee. Not Double Squee. Maybe I shouldn't have kept this hand. I don't know. It felt pretty reasonable. Like, with Double... Especially drawing into Moxon, we would have had... Three Moxen for Talarian. We would have had four uh, PO with Buster backup. I think it was a reasonable keep. It wasn't like an exciting keep, but it was a reasonable keep. All right. What do we need here? Uh, oh my God. They have Wasteland too. Sem seemed fine. Tor mods. Unfortunately, we can't tabernacle them unless they use Wasteland. <sighs> it's 
I guess we can naturally draw vampiric. Uh, actually, how much life does that put us at? Six, five, six down to three. Oh, uh, mm. vamp balance is not a very good plan because we can't protect it with fluster. I mean, we kind of can protect it with fluster, but. Like, we can draw, lose our top. Like, losing our top is also really bad. But if we naturally draw vamp, we don't have enough mana to do anything. So, I mean, we have to we have to vamp for something. And I think we have to vamp for it on their turn. I might just, like, see if I can bait a wasteland. Like, maybe it baits a wasteland. I don't know. The problem with ba like balance, balance might work if they don't wasteland me. But if they if they wasteland me, I hmm. Well, if we vamp for tab, it gets wastelanded, right? I don't think I don't know. I, so it, it's we have to make a, a read on if we think opponent will wasteland us or not, right? Even if we resolve a Vampire Tab, are we winning this game? No. But that's, I guess that's a different problem. What we really need is a uh, Vamp for Mentor. Ooh, what about Vamp for Mentor? If they waste the C, then we lose. I mean, oh, I, I just fetched. <laughs> uh, shit. Anyways. Vamping for Tinker? Maybe. <laughs> We're playing a little loose these days. It's fine. They don't even have lethal. Who cares? They, they just pitched Vigor, Vigor. <laughs> Love it. I needed to actually play this Tundra first, because then I could have double Fluster. Um, yeah, I fucked up again, too. But if I play that, then I can't draw into Tabernacle. It's okay, I'm not dead yet. All right. Oh, I know what's on top. It's Fluster. I fucked up. I was supposed to play my land out so I could double Fluster. I don't think that makes... I don't really like that play very much either, but... I guess we can still tinker and win this game. Alright, what is this third card down? Yep. I really kind of need a mentor is actually what I need the most. Brainstorm. Don't, that doesn't get me anywhere, right? Oh, I forgot to freaking make mana. It's, I'm just, I'm just like taking actions at random now. Sorry. Yeah, none of this does anything. It's okay. Uh, I definitely could have played this game better. I don't know... If I had gone for vamp, they would have just forced it, right? Oh, sure. What if I had... What? What if I had tabernacle after this? Really? You can't... You can't... You can't waste there. All right. I played Tundra? Oh, alright, alright, alright. It's fine. Um, yeah. 
If I had played that game better, I would have had double fluster. Would have been better. Would have been better. I, I'm like just playing very badly at this point. Thanks for the raid. All right, let's try this again. Uh, not with 61 cards. Um, I don't even think I like Narsa on the play. Let's just get this Snapcaster out of our deck. It's fine. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I should be playing a lot better than I am. That is a very odd... It's a very odd hand. <laughs> I don't know, man. Are we allowed to keep this? I'm pretty sure it's like Mana Crypt Sapphire or Mana uh Sapphire uh Sapphire Lotus Mana Crypt Pass. I'm gonna try it. I don't know. I can balance away their bazaar. Theoretically. This hand would be a lot better if it was on the draw, right? We're definitely not going time walk PO. Um, that just opens us up to too many things. Uh, it opens us up to manage, uh, memory trap, negation, vigor. There's just no way in hell I can ever go time walk PO. I think time walk's pretty bad too, as it opens us up to vigor. And then we, I mean, I guess vigor, maybe that would be better. It still opens up stuff to mind break trap. I don't know. The more hollow ones, the better. I just want a fluster storm or a force. I think we just need to balance. <laughs> they still have a squee. It's not like the end of the world here. A little unfortunate. End of turn. I mean, they have an active squee. We're not winning currently. I would say we're we're losing, unfortunately. We're definitely likely to lose this game. Kind of unfortunate. I really maybe I should have baited with PO instead of balance first. I don't know. It's kind of hard to bait with PO for two. But we're super far behind in this game, unfortunately. They just have double squee. And we have no way to... We don't have anything that stops Bizarre, so we just lose.
matchup is just so bad. I assume that means you have Wasteland as well. Yeah. I'm casting it now. Waiting is just so bad for me. Every turn I wait. I mean, they didn't pitch master, though, so it's... Ooh. All right. Um... Hmm. What do we do? I don't know. Could just be mentor. If I wasn't worried about our underground sea, like Yogg is really good here. I think the idea of Mentor looks good, but it's another waiting a turn. What if I go... What if I go Needle, Needle Bazaar, and then untap Mystical Yogg? I think I like that. Lotus is in my graveyard. We're just going to go for Yogwell. I guess we get wrecked by Noxious Revival, but whatever. Oh, they Noxious Revival to Negation? Good God. Really? Oh, that's a nice play. That's a nice play. So, I can go PO and PO on their turn. I can go Ancestral, Ancestral on their turn. I wonder if Brainstorm is better than Ancestral. I don't think so. I have to play faster. I don't know what the line would be off of that. So I just can't think about it right now. Uh, no idea.
Oh, maybe I should have put it back in. Hmm. Well, now I can't vamp. Uh, Fox root walla and then bounces hollow one. Or how close am I to Sphinx? I'm one away from Sphinx, I think. Because I have to cast Mana Crypt. If I don't want to cast Mana Crypt. But if I block root walla and bounce hollow one. Should just do it. I think this just wins. Whatever. I don't think I have to play around anything anymore. Because they can't cast anything with Lavinia, so they have to hit a Caracas. They have to have exactly Caracas. Oh! <laughs> I played so badly in these last rounds. I'm really frustrated, actually. I played just terribly. Okay. Okay. Um. Oof. Wow. What a tournament. I mean, another bread and butter six-two finish with PO. Um. Um. Well, what else can I say? Yeah. I mean, I I go six-two with this deck in most major tournaments. It seems, uh, which is a good record. Can't really be uh happy unhappy about six-two. I do feel like. Uh, maybe there was some play error in the uh, in the mono, in the mono white match. The doomsday match, it felt like felt like I was just kind of out outdrawn. Um, I don't know how much like actual agency I had to make the doomsday match better. Like I think my deck is actually good against doomsday. The build the build is in a good spot for doomsday. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, the mono white matchup, I might have to reevaluate because. I didn't even play an Archon versus me, and I had a really hard time. I was pretty sure that Balanced Swords was enough to make this matchup good, but the, like, the I, I don't know. I feel like the Balance should have been good, but they had Karn 3-Ball, which are not things that are balanceable, so maybe just kind of unlucky way for cards to line up. So I think it was okay. I would run this deck back, same 75 again, if I had to play tomorrow in a big tournament. Uh, maybe the Karn... I don't know. The card has like a very certain role to it, but everything else makes a lot of sense to me. It's possible that this Hercules in the main can be cut for something better. Um, we didn't face too many decks today where I wanted Hercules from the main, so we just like did not play against Tinker today, right? Like we played against what did we play against? We played against a really weird. No, we're it's a sad X two. I, I I think I played relatively badly. Oh, please don't break. Um, so we played against shops. We we started eight zero. We played against shops, and we beat shops. Bug, oath, and I don't even remember what that was. And then we played against Doomsday and lost. Played against Doomsday and won. Played against Mono White and lost. And played against Squee. I think we played against Squee twice, right? Or we played against Cradle Vine and Squee Vine. So we played against zero Tinker players, which is interesting. Um. Actually, I would say this is a hard meta for for my deck, right? Like, Maharu probably unfavored, Squee unfavored, Doomsday is even. Maybe it's about 50-50 meta, actually. Not bad, though. Like, pretty good. Like, I don't know. Like, a, a, good, a good tournament. A good tournament. Oh, look, uh, congrats to Ben. Ben is in the, in the top eight. I'm going to send you guys to Ben so you continue watching the top eight. One, two, three, four. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's just clean. Holy crap! Oh, Casa conceded, and they made it clean. That's cr that's crazy. Okay, then that makes it easy. Um, thank you for watching this. On if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you check out uh, uh subscribe to my channel. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will see you then.